Well, hello, guys. Welcome back. I must have thought that I was bored because over the last 24 hours, Loki's made sure I had plenty to be excited about. First, we get a call, and it's so creepy. I almost recorded it for you guys, but then I thought, YouTube's getting awful sketchy and freaky, and God only knows what they do to me. But it was this eerie call and a strange voice telling me that there would be water maintenance today, so we either have no pressure or low pressure. So we got water ready and I called my friend to be nice. When does my friend call back when I was playing Grey Dawn for the other channel? No, I'm not back to that channel and I just wanted to play that game again because they unlocked, they put achievements in it and they did some other stuff with it so it looked really nice. So it was kind of an excuse to play the game again. I wasn't trying to revamp that channel. I know that channel's dead. Well, she calls back in the middle of the let's play and I screwed up so bad I was I was ready to throw the phone at the wall, everything else at the wall. I quit the game because you know really fast if you pass through a section haven't caught anything. Restarted it today. Did the same thing, just could not find everything in this game because it's hidden really well. So I've done it, completed the game twice. I've played it for nine yeah, nine hours. I still haven't found everything. And then today, I go out after the game to get my mail. And water was fine, by the way, today. I didn't notice anything. I go out to get my mail, and there's a notice from the customs office that my item has been destroyed. And there might be criminal action taken against me. And what they want me to do is contact the seller and tell them not to put pork, send pork products into the U.S. And I'm like, one... What What is this item? Is this to the right? And then I'm like, oh, okay, because they included the packing slip for me. My soup from Japan, from the seller I bought from before, from Amazon, not like a black market site or some sketchy part of eBay, sent the soup and it got intercepted and they claimed there was pork in it, which I don't know because the label was all in Japanese and I can't read it. So I called the postmistress and she goes no you're not in trouble if they destroyed it you're fine she said they just you know they're letting you know they destroyed it and you're not getting your item and they wanted you to tell the seller to knock it off and i said well how am i supposed to know this because i went on a regular site like amazon like i said and i found a highly accredited seller i didn't find some sketchy fly-by-night seller that you know had a lot of violations or something and the orders had been late before, so I didn't even see this coming. And it was just, it was really frustrating because the seller's out until at least tomorrow because they sent me an email when I asked them. In fact, I sent them an email yesterday saying it's been well over a month this time. You know, I don't want to be that customer, but do you have any information on my order? So apparently they didn't inform the seller. I don't know. But I said, I would like a refund. <laughs> so, yeah, because there's no way I'm seeing it. And that, that ended any idea. I told the postmistress, I said, well, that ends any idea of me buying stuff internationally. I said, because this is, this is insane. So, I am getting money, hopefully. I will let you guys know if I get the money or not. I'll let you know if I get chill time or not. But she said I'm okay. She said that it happens all the time. She says people will get like people will buy like costume jewelry stuff and they will open it from time to time and find out it was inspected. She, she says they do this, you know, they inspect packages all the time. And I wasn't trying to hurt the U.S. I wasn't trying to bring something into the country I knew was wrong. I just figured food would be okay because I remember from a long, long time ago, they told us as long as it was dried food or prepared food, you were fine. And I was like, I thought that's what, the law was. I didn't know. I didn't go check with the Department of Agriculture. Like I said, the label was Japanese. I didn't even know what was in it. So, you know, I'm not mad at customs. If they have to do that to protect the country, I'm fine with it. I was just like, I could use not being scared. <laughs> you know? So that happened. And then I got a response from that dev. Remember I told you about the game that my tremors made it extremely hard to play because, you know, if I'm tired or frustrated, they go from like this to like that, literally, like I just can't control the hands. I will have them pressed into my body and they'll still be shaking really bad. Well, he didn't ask why it was so hard to play the game. He kind of more or less told me that he made, or they made a game for all gamers. And I'm like, okay. 
He thanked me for the review. That was the nicest thing he did. And he said he was confident there was still stuff I could enjoy. And I'm like, no, you're not actually hearing me. I'm saying with disabled, my disabilities, it's actually very hard to enjoy this game. Kind of resign myself to the bulk of the game is a gaming section. I kind of resign myself to not enjoying most of that with the Tremors. I'm like, okay, there's nothing they can really do about that. I mean, they could, but they won't. And so I only had a couple on-the-rails experiences to enjoy, which are not fun when that's all you can do in the park, which I don't think he was getting. And then as he had a new content, he had like a maze area and other stuff. I also couldn't do that. So it, it kind of felt, like I said, I was frustrated. It felt like I was being punished for being disabled because the more stuff they add, the less I can do proportionally in the park. It's just the same stupid rides that I've ridden before and I don't feel like riding again. And it's like, I don't think you're quite understanding the concept here. Your rides aren't that wild. I want to keep riding them again. There's just, there's just something about them. They're pretty, but they're the kind of pretty that after you've seen it for three or four times, you're like, okay, I'm done. I don't ever need to see this in my life ever again because this is the same exact thing over and over again. It just doesn't have that wow factor to catch you. So basically told me maybe sometime in the future they're doing something with the controls he was really vague about it and said maybe that'll make you happy or something to that effect and i'm thinking dude you really don't understand this is as simple as making it casual easy hard difficult whatever kind of difficulty level you want to put a label on it that's as easy as this fix is you can make it casual but he's like no you're not getting night mode you're not getting me to just give you unlock stars. You're not getting anything you want because somebody else asked for this game to become harder. Like, that's great. The person that wants a harder game gets their way. And he says, well, you could email us. I didn't get your email because, you know, I just reviewed the game on the game's Oculus page because, you know, I'm a crazy person. And he couldn't promise to give me a joyful update. And I figured, okay, that's sarcasm right there, sir. I don't appreciate that. So I could write him, but he wasn't going to do anything. Here he let me know in his response that, well, it was kind of my fault for buying a game that was so specific to hand skills. And I'm like, I didn't know it would be like that. I thought it would be like a couple casual skill games, and like I said, with the Vertigo, there's no way in hell I'm ever going to get up the whole way up the tower, and you guys know that. You saw how terrified I was in the clip I played for you. So I'm like, this guy's just kind of a dick, excuse my language, but he is. He's being a total dick about this, because I can't magically, as I've said before, shut off the disabilities and become magic disability girl that doesn't have them when it's important. <sighs> So I am never playing that game again unless I am, like, bored out of my mind. There's no way in hell I'm going back and finding out if these controller updates that may appear in the future will help me out. I'm like, no. I'm glad you you answered one person and at least gave somebody what they want. But no, you're being really condescending dick about this. I have disabilities. I told you your game's too hard. You didn't do the sensible thing of saying, why is it so hard? You were just rude. So, yeah. Summer Funland sucks. And you can tell them I said it sucked. And you can tell the dev I, to I told you he's a condescending dick. Because he is. So yeah. Um, it, it was just enough of enough. Like my disabilities. I usually don't talk about them guys. I don't like to. I usually have my hands off camera for a reason. Even though I know you can see the head twitches sometimes. Um, Because like. I don't know if I should do this recording or not. But like usually they go from like. Maybe like this. To. This, if I'm really tired or I'm really excited, like when I got that letter from the, you know, customs, and they said about criminal prosecution, my hands started going like this so bad that I had to put the letter down. I, like, I just, I literally could not hold it. It was shaking that much. So, yeah, I'm kind of done with that developer, and I'm very glad customs isn't going to do anything to me because it destroyed the order. I will let you guys know if I get the money back and you know um hopefully the water pressure is going to stay okay and if you guys like what you see like comment subscribe loki try to help me find like a silver lining of well maybe he's going to fix it in the future i said no loki he already made it clear his answer and loki knew loki was just trying to be nice 
He made it clear in his answer he didn't intend to do anything for disabled players, and he said it was too hard to change a game and make it suitable for everyone. I thought, well, then you're in the wrong damn business, because as a game developer, that is exactly your job, to make games accessible for everyone. Don't give me horse shit about, I can't make a game accessible to everyone. Yeah, you can. Developers have done it for decades, just... Most of them don't give a damn to do it, but yeah, you can make games accessible for handicapped people, for people with low vision, for people whatever. It's totally possible. That's why we have a lot of text sometimes in games so that, you know, like if you're deaf and you're missing song cues and stuff like that, yeah. It's really easy to actually work stuff in to help people with disabilities who just didn't feel like it. So... Again, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. I'm just going to decompress. Don't worry, you won't be seeing all of Grey Dawn. It's it's a good game, but I get where it's a downer. So you won't be seeing all that. And maybe you won't be seeing any games for a while. I think I'm done with developers for a while. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.